What's going on, everybody? My name is Vladimir CR, and welcome back to Outlast episode whatever we're on. I don't even know. What is it? Episode like seven, eight, something like that? Anyway, we're on Outlast today. Uh, I Sorry, by the way. Um, again, half sorry, half not that I haven't uploaded quite regularly lately. Again, I've still got a lot of stuff going on outside of YouTube, unfortunately. But um, today, I believe we get to go find out what the hell happened to our camera because it just dropped down there. And I just saw someone in that door. And I don't believe we can go this way. You need your camcorder to navigate the darkness. Of course I do. Okay. Is there a safe way down from here? Or... Oh, man. Well, one thing about us needing the camcorder is m luckily that means we shouldn't be traversing very many dark areas. Um, but... Our objective is to basically make it downstairs and find out what happened to the camera. And I gotta say, without the camera, it's making seeing everything pretty doggone difficult, I will be honest with you. Um, not only that, but I also, again, as always, I have my bright lights in my face for my recording. This door looks, for the most part, unimpeded, so let's, uh, can I, uh, no? Can't go through there. We need to find a way down to the basement, basically. And apparently I have some sort of whitish aura about me, because notice when I get closer to this column here. I have some sort of white aura around me right now. But anyway, we gotta, we got to find a way downstairs. Pardon me for hiccuping and whatnot. So how have you guys been doing lately? I know I haven't been around too, too much lately. Let's, uh, can we get, can we hide under this by chance? What? Oh, lightning. Oh, yeah, we can climb over stuff. I forgot. I hear I was going to hide under one side of it and then come out the other side. Oh, that is an awful sound, and why is it so loud in my ear? I don't like that. Shut up, Miles. You're making this a whole lot more freaky than it has to be. I hear stuff to my right. Luckily, I have a pretty good set of headphones, so I can actually determine, you know, which direction these sounds are coming from. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that we're going to get pretty spooky, pretty, pretty spooky stuff going on in this one, because I don't have my night vision, and there are still, <clears throat> uh, there are still mentally disturbed individuals walking around. What was that? What was the X command that I got? X and hold to open. Oh. Oh, well, yeah, we could just walk in like a normal person, or we could go through the gaping hole in the wall. Uh, I'm assuming, also, that I'm probably not... God, it was blood. <laughs> oh, it's just blood. It's fine. God, I can't see crap. All right, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna Rambo this thing and just, just carefully... Look down there. Why am I getting close to the shower? Is there something in the shower that I need? You know what? We're just gonna... Can I... Ugh. Alright, so we're gonna reach a whole new level of uncomfortable here uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, because, again, I don't have my camera. Which, unfortunately, the enemies in Outlast don't adhere to the if I can't see you, you're not there mentality of scares. So, just being in darkness is not going to help. I am assuming that I'm going to have to run somewhere, though. I might have to actually... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that at all. But you know what? We're brave. We're going to do this thing. We're going to continue going towards the light. We're probably dead right now. That's actually... Jesus Christ! 
Ah, run! Can I run somewhere? Or was that just a jump scare? Is that... God, that scared... Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that one got me. But the green screen has luckily stayed intact. So I see the guy sitting on the table over there. And he's in a straight jacket. And I can't record anything, so we're just going to slowly move away from him. <clears throat> I hope, by the way, that my audio levels are okay. I have adjusted them a little bit for the Super Mario 64 playthrough I got going on. Which, by the way, how are you guys enjoying that? Because um, I got to tell you, playing back through an, a, a game like that from my childhood has really, like... It, it it wasn't like so much, oh, well, you know, back then video games were good and all that. I really don't like that. But anyway, um, it wasn't so much that, just so much that I have spent a lot of time on that game. And I know I'm not getting every single star. Am I going to fall? Uh, you know what? Let's run it. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Mm -mm. But is that my camcorder? That's my camcorder. Awesome. Can I pick it up, please? I would like to pick up my camcorder, please. How can I how can I collect my cam do I have to go to the other side of this table? How do I pick up my camcorder? Cuz I can't I can't just like You would think it would give me a command of some kind, but I I can't see anything. Can I just run and jump it? It's right there. Reach out and grab it. It's probably something so simple, like press B or nothing. Do I have to, like, crawl? I don't know what to do. Can't go under the table. Why do I get the feeling that as soon as I pick this thing up and use it again, there's going to be someone or something right behind me? That is my camera. Why can't I not get it? What do I do? All right, what do I do? What do I do? Might cut until I am able to find a way to pick this camera up. All right, so none of that's helping. God, why the music, though? That's not helping, that's not helping, that's not helping. Why can I not just pick my camera up? It's right there. I mean, that is my camera, right? It's glowing, so it's obviously trying to draw my attention to it. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and preface this by saying prepare for a jump scare because I'm betting there's going to be someone either right there or right there. So here we go. Oh, it's... Jesus, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Run. How do I get away? How do I get away? How do I get... Can I run? Can I run? I would like to run right now, please. How do I run? How do I... How do I run? I forget. How do I run? I don't know why I just replaced the battery. I can't run. Why can I not run? Well, I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead, actually, is what's happening. I knew it. I absolutely knew that something was going to happen, and yet I fell for it anyway. But why couldn't I run, though? That's my question. Like, I picked the camcorder up, right? Guys are over to my left. But I can't run, though. Ta-da. Okay, see, now I'm pressing the run button, and nothing's happening. I, I can't run. Let's let's just jump. Okay. Can I run now? No. Why why am I not running? I feel like I'm picking up speed, but not nearly enough. I can't run right now, and I don't like it. Yeah. Why can I not run? Am I missing something? Am I pushing the wrong button? I cannot remember how to run in this game. Isn't it just pressing the left stick for me? That's two deaths, by the way. Alright, so pick the camcorder up. Gonna be some dudes right there to my left. No surprise. Now can I run? No, see, I'm, I'm pressing the button right there. And I, I can't run. Oh, wait. I'm an absolute idiot. It's left button to run, not left stick. I'm just dumb. So dumb for words right now. Just keep running. I wasted a battery, but that's fine. Oh god, there's mentally... There's psychos everywhere. And now the camera's freaking out and glitching too. Fantastic. 
I mean, okay, camera being broken, I could potentially deal with, but freaking out and glitching is not something that's easy for me. Can I just jump back up here and gen then can I? Yes, good, jump, run. Just, is there going to be something here? Okay, so it's left button to run. I cannot believe I did not remember that. Considering how much of it that I've done in this game. I had I had an episode entitled Run For Your Life. And I could not even remember. Alright, I get the feeling. Can I get... Yes, I Maybe? Can I get back up here? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Okay, so we've gotten a good bit of exposition out of the way already. Really... Miles, you were a parkour wizard literally like an episode ago, and now you can't even jump a small gap to, to save yourself from the... We're just going to say psychos. I mean no disrespect towards anyone who is living with some sort of mental uh, problem of some kind, but we're just going to call them psychos. That's what they are, at least in this game. Again, camera being broken, I can more or less deal with, but camera glitching out and freaking, that's going to be on a different level. But it's okay. Because we got our camera back. It's it's seen better days. Really? Can what? What happened to our parkour wizard, guys? He just lost all of his skill in parkour all of a sudden. I know that we when we jumped over there the first time, we broke a lot of stuff, so. Maybe that's the problem. That we just broke too much to get, uh, you know, I don't know. But I'm guessing that since there's so much light on that, maybe I should hook my jump to the left a little bit and see if I can't jump on that. Maybe that's what I gotta do. We're gonna find out. Here we go. Nope. Well, I couldn't really hook my jump to the left. Can I just jump up here and... Yes. Wow. Lame. Anyway. Find Father Martin in the administration room. Really? Miles? Oh, I tripped over. There was a hole there. I didn't even know that. Why is the music still going, though? That's my question. Aha! Oh, that's not good. Excuse me, sir. I get that. I. That's actually a good question. And the music's just gone all of a sudden. Did you hear his question, though? How do you know you're not a patient? That's actually pretty thought, pretty doggone thought-provoking. I mean, we're, we've are we seen some crazy stuff, like the Wall Rider and stuff. We've seen some, like, God help me, I think I've seen the Wall Rider. But anyway, um, I love that, by the way. One of the most ominous quotes in video game history, in my opinion. Um, we're just going to keep running. Or, oh no, it's Walker. Oh no. What to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I was going to say, I've been having trouble seeing stuff ahead of me, or above me. Okay, alright, where's... Tell me, is that a person over there? Is that what that is? Is that a person or a body? I mean, either way, I don't really like it. He's got to reach out and grab me. Oh, it's a body. No, he's not going to reach out and grab anybody. Let's make all the noise. Thumpity thump thump. And we're back here. This is where this is where Walker grabbed us the first time, right here. Walker grabbed us right there and threw us down there. Oh, so we got kind of like a full circle thing going on. Neat. I like that. Uh, just uh, Miles, uh, just open the door. Just open the door. In the theater behind the light. Where is the theater? Oh, Recreation Hall would probably be a good place to start. And it's locked. Why wouldn't it be? Anyway. 
How you guys doing, by the way? I know I've already asked that, but I don't feel like I, I spent enough time on it before I got jump scared out of my mind. So I hope you guys have all been doing well over the past week or two. Well, I know it hasn't been that long since I've uploaded, but I, I still feel like, you know, it's been a while. I haven't exactly been able to keep a very regular schedule here lately, and I'm, 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 I wish I could. Because what I would like to do... Oh, great, we have hiding spots. Uh, what I would like to do eventually is to get to where I'm uploading, like, four times a week. Battery, right? Battery. Give me that. Give, give me that. Did I did I miss it? Can I not get that battery now? Oh, good, I can't get it. Good. Oh, there's a body there. Uh, sir? S sorry. I'm gonna borrow your battery. Hope you don't need it. Where am I going? Oh, up the ladder, probably. What am I hearing stuff? And the camera glitching out is just making this even worse. But, if you guys can't tell, I have gotten much more confident since I started shooting this series. Um, and I still get scared easily, and I'm, I'm okay with that, but... I, I'm not quite... That is, that's gonna get me. That's going to give me a jump scare eventually. It's just going to be right at the right point <clears throat> to just freak me out of existence, basically. I'm digging the music. I'm not digging the hiding spots. Sir, you play beautifully. Are you a good... Hi. Hello. No? Ah, see? Ugh, that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm almost freaking positive the game is doing that on purpose. Like, it knows when there are freaky things happening. I'm gonna have to find a lever, aren't I? Probably. Anyway, it knows when there are freaky things happening. It's just like, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna mess with them. Right now. Just, just because I can. Yeah, 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 batteries. I know. I hear you. Clearly, though, as I've said, I'm gonna have to run from something. I don't I, I, I don't mind running so much, but again, I do think that it could be Oh wait. Oh no, no. Okay, so this is clearly the theater. That uh that psycho was in here playing the piano a minute ago. He was playing it beautifully for what it's worth, but No. No no. Would this be kind of as piracy since I'm taking a video of a video? I'm sorry, I'm trying to listen to the interview. I'm not trying to be, like, boring and quiet. Maybe I should just, like, hang out for a second and listen to this. Ooh, quick question. Will it project my shadow? Oh, that would have been such a nice touch. Because the projector light is coming from there. It should have projected my shadow, but that's still pretty good. I mean, this game is still really good. I'm hoping I'll get a note about that or something, or maybe I can look up a transcription. Hmm. We're just going to let that run for a minute. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that not only can I find more batteries soon, but I can also find a few more documents to more thoroughly explain what's going on. That would be great. I still don't really like the whole press X to hide thing. I hear a phone. I hear a phone with a dial tone. Why can't I just call 911 and be like, hey, listen, I am stuck out here. Did you have to, though? 
Did you? I have to find Only way. You have to find Mordecai. I'm, I'm thinking that was somebody else talking to me. But. The key to the theater is behind the light. Look at document. Let's read that real quick, shall we? Uh, necrotizing fasciitis, if I'm reading that correctly. Wash those hands regularly. Really? I effing quit. Okay. F oh, flesh-eating bacteria. Necrotizing fasciitis. Okay. Fasciitis? Fasciitis? I don't know. Anyway, flesh-eating bacteria. And then, from Brunton, says wash those hands regularly. Hmm. So there's a flesh-eating bacteria somewhere. That's not comforting at all. I don't like the sound of that. No, we don't need that. I guess we're going through here. Maybe. Okay, see, now I'm wondering, let's see, is there something above me that I that I wouldn't see? I do see that. I'm wondering if there's anything, like, anyone looking back at me. How do you feel a ca about a camera looking back at a camera, whoever's operating that? Alright, looks like I'm going upstairs. Which makes sense, because the projector is on the second floor. I, I, sound design, you know? I don't like this. I'm going to turn my light off. And my camera just glitched, too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, I told you. I told you it knows when the creepy times are happening. I can't remember which Silent Hill game it was, but one Silent Hill game uh, actually started with a little disclaimer that says, I think maybe Silent Hill 3 or 4... I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to put a number on it because I'm really not sure. But there is a Silent Hill game that starts out with a disclaimer at the very beginning and it says, Be wary, or be careful. This game plays... Jesus! Ah! Uh... Anyway, it started out with the disclaimer that said, Be careful or something. This game plays you as much as you play it. And what it would do is it would... Um... It would actually alter certain things based on certain like personality tests and stuff that you would do. Uh, and it actually alters the game. For example, if you were um, more obsessed with, uh, well, to put it gently, or no. To put it gently, if you were uh, obsessed with, if you acted as though you were obsessed with sex, it would actually make uh, the women in the game look much more voluptuous. Um. If you were obsessed with death or something like that, the creatures would be much more, um, what's the word? They'd be much more, like, disgusting looking or something? I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly all of it, and quite personally, I'll be honest, I've never played that game. Um, I don't recall play personally playing very many Silent Hill games, if even any at all, but I have seen plenty of Silent Hill games played. God, this freaking glitching crap is going to get me, man. I'm telling you. So do I jump straight across at the balcony, I assume? Oh, what's going to grab me? Oh, what's going to grab me? No, nothing. There's the key I need. Find Father Martin on the third floor. Wonderful. Um, And now this door is open when it was closed earlier. I don't like it. I st something is going to chase me. That is happening. That is going to happen. It's giving me all these places to hide. Something is going to chase me. Anyway. Um, nothing hiding back there. Okay. Um, but anyway. So it would actually alter the game's own imagery and whatnot to... to um, better prey to your own personal fears. I don't like that. Is that Walker? Is, is that Walker? We're going to hide. And we're going to turn that off. Because if you can't see it, it can't get you. Everyone close your eyes. You can't get me. Nah, 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 nah. Is there going to be a face looking at me? No? No face. I'm going to give that a second. The big guy, again, for those of you that don't know, the big guy that we saw is, his name is Walker. 
Chris Walker, as a matter of fact. All right, shh.